Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the zoom settings on your macOS device. Following this process will allow you to change the accessibility options regarding zoom, allowing you to zoom into full screen or picture in picture on any screen of your Mac. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. All right, so to change these settings, what you need to do is go down to system settings and open it up. Then what you're gonna do is in the sidebar uh, on the left, you're going to click on accessibility. Once you're in this menu, go under vision where it says zoom and then click into that. And then you'll see a few options here. So by default, I believe all of these are off. Um, so the first option is use keyboard shortcuts to zoom. So uh, to toggle zoom, you can use option command eight, that is. To zoom in, you can use option command equals. And to zoom out, you can use option command minus. So if we turn that on, what we can do is hold down option command eight. That will toggle the zoom uh, on and off. And then we can use the um, plus and minus keys uh, or the plus and equals key to zoom in and the minus key to zoom out, as you can see there. And then using eight, we'll toggle it on and off and it will remember your last used setting like so. So if I toggle command shift eight or command option eight rather, um, that will um, go back to my last used setting. And then when in there, I can then use the plus key or the minus key um, to zoom in and out on the screen. And at any time, you don't even need to toggle it on and off. You can just do it from any screen and just start it uh, from scratch. So that's one way to do it. The other way you can do it is if you turn it on, you can use the trackpad gesture to zoom. So you can um, either double tap three fingers to toggle zoom, and then you can also double tap three fingers to drag and change the zoom. So if you're on a MacBook or you have a magic trackpad or something like that, you could use this feature to um, do the same zoom features, but rather than using the keyboard shortcuts, you'll be using the trackpad. Unfortunately, however, I can't demonstrate that today because I'm using a Mac mini and I don't have a trackpad to connect into it. Another setting you can change is to use the scroll gesture with the modifier keys to zoom. So you can turn that on and what you can do is you can then um, scroll while using the modifier keys to zoom in and out. Now. It doesn't seem to work on every screen, but if you toggle zoom on, um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's a bit hit or miss, but the idea is that when you're scrolling, you should be able to um, use hold down option and command, which is what it is by de default. I could also change it to um, some of the other buttons as well. However, it should uh, zoom in and out, but that may only work on a trackpad. So it seems a little bit hit or miss that feature. And then the main one here is you can change the zoom style. So by default, it's on full screen, um, which is what I've been showing you this whole video, where it zooms into the entire screen based on where your mouse is pointed. So I could zoom into the top there just based on where my mouse is. However, I can also change that to be a split screen zoom. So what that does is when I start zooming, it's going to show a window at the top and it's going to show exactly what I'm looking at um, around here where I'm trying to zoom in and you'll see it shows at the top. So it's not using the full screen, it just shows a little bar at the top uh, to um, do that. And then I can also change it to picture in picture where it essentially has this little window which my mouse is boxed into and it will move around with my mouse. And I can um, I can zoom in within that window using the same, same shortcuts and it will just move around like that. And then I can do little actions like so. So that's one of the options there as well. Um, but full screen is the default option here. And you can also choose a display if you have a secondary display as well. However, I don't have that today. Also, there's also some advanced options such as changing some appearance settings, some additional controls, follow focus, shortcuts and modifiers for temporary action. So you can change those if you would like them. 
And we can also choose to use hover text, which means if you press command, you can display a large text view of the item under the pointer. So if we turn that on, so that would be helpful if you're on a website, for example, and you can hold down, you can see it's actually working here. If I hold down command, you'll see it says um, it will view a large text view of the item underneath the pointer. So you can see there that's coming up and that's actually really helpful as you can see. So it's sort of just when you're holding it down, if you're moving it around, you can see the large text view, which is really quite helpful actually uh, in doing this, which um, I believe is quite good. Um, so yeah, that's a really helpful tool as well. So yeah, that's a really quick and easy method on how to change the zoom accessibility options on your macOS device. Hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success in changing some of these settings and it is really helpful in allowing you to be more productive on your macOS device and just uh, be able to see those things that are a little bit small in the default view and just zoom in a bit. It can be really helpful and it's such an easy setting to change. So um, hopefully you've had some great success in following this tutorial and it's made using your Mac just that little bit easier and uh, better suited for your personal needs. And with that, thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other video suggestions you have for me because I'm more than happy to make those if you would like to see them. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.